For the connections for our Mr. Cool, we began with two 12 inch supply ducts that went into the bottom of our plenum base that we made out of two by fours. That access hole is where we're gonna receive the refrigerant lines from. There's the setup, the Mr. Cool on its plenum base. The air handlers then set up to connect to the rest of the ducting throughout the whole house. Those are the Novak line sets and they extend from the back porch through the basement and up the access hole. We had to drill two access holes uh, through the wall to get into the basement to accommodate the Novak line. All right, here we go. I was unrolling. Okay, start feeding it. After taking care to get them through the basement, we wound them up through the access hole and were careful to bend them around to the front of the air handler. That's how we decided to hook it up. Okay, I'm gonna put my foot here, but so this needs to bend get around. bending around and we go we go to the big Do you one. Do think this is long enough? Yeah, more than enough. I'm afraid you might go too. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna start bending them down. It's okay. Try and yeah, I'm trying to keep it. Give it a bit more okay, now. circular. Yeah. There you go. Is that? Hey, Mr. Cole. All right. Hey, if this is all helpful, you're getting something out of it, be sure and like it. It helps us in the algorithm. The connection to the air handler is the same as the connection to the condenser. They both have the same fittings. Once we connected the refrigerant lines to the front of the air handler, uh, the same process involves in connecting it to the condenser. Okay. Yep, don't have my crescent wrench, so I want to see if the vice grips will do this. There we go, yeah. So this is the connector. There's two of these big ones and two of these small ones. And they go on to this unit and the condenser. Okay. Then we can put these guys here, like so, where they belong. Now, the, the smaller refrigerant line, take these caps out. And that's just gonna go right like so. Got to get this to bend around here just right. I'm trying to be careful not to, I don't want to misthread this. Okay, this, this one, you can see it, this one's actually pointed away. It's much closer back here than it is here. So it's pointed out a little bit. And that's, this is so big that it needs extra space. All right, this big one, this one here was really difficult. It just takes, that alignment just has to be perfect for it to go on. So it took a few minutes for us to try to Get it uh, perfectly aligned. You just want to be careful not to strip the threads. Once the air handler is positioned the correct way, we could take out one of the plugs to the condensation pan in the, basically the bottom of the air handler and then connect the PVC pipe to drain it into the sump pit.
we supported the refrigerant lines throughout the basement with uh, black mesh strips. We used a flexible electrical conduit, a whip uh, that connects the uh, junction box with the air handler itself. Be sure and see our Mr. Cool playlist for all the different videos that we have on the wiring. Here's a look at the final electrical connections. Be sure and look at the reference manual for the exact placement. You're, you have limits of how close walls and ceilings can be to your condenser unit. So be sure and check those in the manual. We took out the knockouts here. This is gonna be power and that's gonna be thermostat. All right, so this is how we finally wired it up. We had a few issues. In particular, our unit does not have a heat strip. That's where that would be plugged in. And so we originally had a D wire because the manual looks like it says D connects from the air handler to the condenser. Uh, but we called Mr. Cool because we were having problems getting the condenser to turn on. And they were saying, if you don't have the heat strip, then you don't need the D wire connected from D air handler to D condenser outside and you don't need the w1 which is the communication to the thermostat that you know for the heat strip so those two we we got rid of those two uh, and so we have uh, the double wires go from thermostat to here to condenser so we have double orange or b double red for your power a single blue common going to the condenser and double green going from thermostat to here to condenser. So that's how it all works real nice. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video.